I'm ready. Oh, you know what? Let me find these emails. What day did I say I ordered? Yeah, cuz, babe. Tripping. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinnie McHale. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today is a very small um, black-owned body care cosmetics type of haul. I got, I think, like three things from two different businesses. So I figured let's just combine them and do like one uh, complete haul. Um, you know, I love supporting black-owned businesses. I love supporting small-owned businesses. And anytime I shop with those people, I always try to share them with you all. And not free to feel like pressured to buy from them just because like a lot of these businesses especially small owned businesses you don't know what you're getting ahead of time before you buy it so i try to like always anytime i buy something from small owned businesses i try to show them so that anybody whether they're subscribed to me or not at least you have a reference or i call you somebody else order from them this is what their experience was this is you know what happened about whatever not to talk about or degrade any basis just to be honest and transparent so that when you decide to place your order whenever that is whether it's now or a year from now you kind of know what to expect or at least you have someone else who had already an encounter and experienced them experience with them so you know it's a real business all that type of stuff so that's my caveat when it comes to you know me purchasing things from small owned businesses um just put it in your in your pile you write it down to remember later it's not necessarily always like a you need to go out right now and get this stuff just you know so you have a, a point of reference anyway before I get into the few things that I got you know I got to thank my subscribers you guys are amazing beautiful incredible um, I just really am appreciative of the community that we're building here I'm not focused on numbers I'm focused on engaging with my uh, engaging with the content um, being consistent and you all talking to you all getting feedback things like that so that's what uh, what I'm focused on in my journey is you all and me being consistent so I'm really a great I'm really appreciative and grateful for the community that we are building here. I feel like everyone that here really rocks with me and I rock with y'all. So I had to get, you know, I got to always get that out the way. Um, my discount code for anybody oils. I can only say it so many times. Y'all know what to do. Even like look at previous videos and check the comments. Like people will comment on the video and say, I just wanted to come back and say like, baby, this was a hit. I love this. Love this. So I'm like, I ain't going to tell y'all no more. Y'all know my discount code on the screen and caption. Y'all know the whole name. So let's get into it. So Shea Makery is the first one I want to open. I think I've talked about them on my channel at least twice, I think. Two different videos. Um, I just really like the creativity of her like packaging and stuff. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just like the way she does things and like her designs and stuff. I am a huge, huge fan of it. So I will probably always be purchased from her because I just think the creativity is top tier. I just think it's so genius, so creative. She's black owned. I love it. Like that's enough for me. So I only got three things from her. Let's so show what I got. So this is this uh, strawberry lemonade body wash. Look at that. How cool how cute it looks like you're getting a limit like you're about to this looks like you're supposed to drink it of course she got you know non-edible on it she's got don't drink it but i mean i just thought that was so cute so it says don't drink it this is what you have to tell yourself when you reach for the new shea, shea makery lemonade body washes available in original lemonade strawberry flavored scented okay so but yeah like i just thought that was so cute so let's smell it. And I do have another body wash from her, and it's straight, so no complaints out of me. This is really good. First of all, it do it you feel like you're supposed to drink this. <laughs> you really, really do. But I don't really get this doesn't really smell like lemonade as much as it's just like like a really pretty fruity type of thing. It's like a candy, maybe like a candy strawberry lemonade. Because, like, lemonade can be tart. That's why I'm not a fan of lemonade by itself. Like, if I get flavored lemonade, put me extra flavor in there. Um, This is cute. I like this. It's not too heavy on the lemonade. I don't even know. If I try to, that's going to spill. Um, I just like this for the packaging, to be honest. It didn't matter what it smelled like. I was going to do it for the packaging. If you got toddlers or something in the house, do not get, do not get that. Because that definitely feels like something you're supposed to drink. 
Okay, the next thing we have is a soap cherry pop. So it's like the same concept of like the lollipops. And it's soap. And I think that is so cute. Hold on, am I ruining the packaging? Um, and she's really, really good about her packaging. Everything arrives wrapped, triple wrapped and wrapped again. Um, how cute is this? Like what? I kind of want to open this so I can smell it. But it's like the blow pops, but it's soap. Uh oh. First of all, I didn't even open it all the way and I could smell it from here. Woo! This is potent. I ain't gonna open it all the way because I'm not ready to use it yet. Ooh. That is, that smells exactly like a cherry blow pop. Ooh! That's good! Ooh! She did that. Woo! And then last but not least, I thought this was so stinking cute. Y'all tell me this is not such a cute idea. This is the Danish cookies, but in but it in soaps. So Danish butter soaps. Y'all telling me that is not cute? Oh, look at them! How stinking cute. Ooh, they're really soft. So hold on. It looks like a real cookie. Then we've got pretzels. How cute. Okay, let's smell it. Okay, this one's okay. It's not as, um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit sweeter as it pertains to like, when I think of these cookies, I think of like, um, there's like a sweetness to it. It's just a, it's like a light, a very light sweet scent this is I like I don't it didn't really matter though like seriously like what you don't find stuff like that um like anywhere um and especially like this could be good if like I was hosting an event or something like these would be super cute to put in like gift bags or something like that um and it is 10 in here so I just thought that was like really stinking cute now let me tell you, you know, I got to tell the truth from the devil. So I've ordered from them before and like she hand makes all of her things. So I know it's supposed to take time. Like even when you order, it says, please allow two to four weeks for shipping, blah, 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 whatever. So I ordered, completely forgot about it. Then like, so I ordered it June 12th. I think that was my order date. And finally like around the end of July, I was like, I should have got my stuff by now. So I reached out. I said, I want to check on the status of my order. Um, and they send like an automated message and it says it says you're asking about your order is this tracking information helpful it didn't have any tracking information so I responded and I say no it's not then they responded the same day they said hi thank you for reaching out to us we apologize for the delay we were a bit short staffed and bakery artists we have been set back by some health issues with our staff in the past weeks we're happy to tell you that the remaining affected orders are processing this coming week your order will be prepared for shipment very soon and the shipping confirmation email with your tracking number will be sent to you once it is scanned. So that was uh, July 27th. So June 12th was when I ordered and July 27th I still hadn't had any update. That's a long time. However, they did say that they had, you know, some delays or whatever. Um, so, you know, like I said, I've, it don't, it don't, it normally doesn't take that long um, but you know I, I try to be transparent and then it got delivered August 3rd so um, I think they shipped it out like the next day after I sent that email like I said I try to just be transparent be honest um, it normally takes normally takes about a month but like I said she hand makes these things they're like you know crafted so not mad just trying to be transparent with all of my experiences um, this came from, I think I saw her on TikTok. And I said, you know, I'm going to try some of her stuff. So, oh, how much was that Shea Makery stuff? Hold on. Oh, and she gave me a $10 credit. Um, credit applic applicable in all purchases of $25 minimum before shipping costs. Good through August 10th. So, that's nice too. So, she gave a credit for the delay or whatever so yeah so the body wash was 10 the soap was five and this the soap pop the blow pop soap was five and the um cookies were 10 
So I don't think I don't think that's bad at all. Um, but yeah, like I said, she gave me a ten dollar credit, so I don't have no complaints. Ten out of ten. So yeah, this is Boss of Cosmetics. I saw her on TikTok. She be doing really good on TikTok. I was like, let me support. Y'all know I'm not into like you know makeup or anything like that but it's just a couple of lip glosses so let's get into it this is what they look like hold on I don't know if I'm doing this right they're, they're black women love to see that this is it says cruelty free vegan handmade with love black and Latina owned women owned so we love to see that so this one is perfectly imperfect Girl, I don't know what this is. Let me just open it. We're going to find out together. Oh, this is so cute. So this is what it looks like. This is the Boss Gloss. Is that coming up? Boss Gloss. Um, And it's like pink with all the stuff in it. So this one is... Ooh, this applicator is thick. Kind of oh! I can't never have nothing nice. So yeah, that's that one. It's got like all types of stars and glitter in there. That's really cute. Um, hydrating non-sticky lip gloss. Okay, so this one is a lip gloss. I think I ordered two glosses and a lip oil. Then this one is self-made. I think is the name of it. Oh, this one is really pretty. I like the color of this. I think that's a really pretty color. Her applicators are super, super thick. I feel like that's going to be pretty. It's almost like a, for my shade, almost like a nude, I think. Because you know, nude is a relative term. But, um, mm, I, might, I might put one of them on. Should I swatch it? Maybe I should swatch it. Yeah, that's going to be like a nude on me, which I'm okay with. Um, especially, I got it too because it's supposed to be um, non-sticky. And y'all know with them lip glosses, it's easy to have. It gets like this white stuff in the corner of your mouth and it makes me gag. I cannot stand that. So that's why I don't really be fooling with lip gloss. So I don't like that. I don't know if this is going to show up. It is pigmented a little bit. But I don't think you can tell, but this is more like a, a darker red, which is this one. And then, I don't think it's coming up well on camera, but I can see it in real life. I can definitely tell. And I think the last one is just a lip oil. Yes, this is a lip oil. I think their packaging is really pretty. Is that coming up? Then it says, this says lip oil. Let's put this one on. Mmm, I like how it feels. I like how this one feels. This is just a lip oil, but if it, it, if I can tell that this is not gonna give me that thick chunk, you know, that stuff in the corner. I can. I think I had one video that I had put on something, and he did that in the corner. I almost couldn't edit it because I was gagging so much. Like I cannot stand that. So I think this might pass the test. My lips feel really, really good. I ain't gonna hold you like. I feel like I put on a really good pr I like this y'all might have messed up because the lips are lipping <laughs> Woo! Mm. that's cute mm. so I don't know y'all drop down in the comments let me know what you think um I'm like like I said I'm not really into like uh, makeup anything like that yet it will happen just whenever the Lord says so because I'm not ready yet. <laughs> but, uh, what's the name of this? So, the Perfectly Imperfect, which was the, um, the red one with all, like, the stars and the glitter and stuff in it. That was $10. The second one, Self Made, which is, like, the, kind of, like, the nude for my skin tone, that was $10. And the lip oil was $9.50. So I don't think those are a bad price. Um, I didn't try the other ones on my skin, however... The lip oil, I'm here for that. That's probably going in my purse. I don't feel like I'm going to be having that little thing at the corner of my mouth. Then she sold me on the non-sticky. The non-sticky thing was the thing that sold me. So, 
let me know if I if I accidentally stumbled upon a hit. You know, let me know. <laughs> but drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Have you heard of any of these brands before? If so, what have you gotten from them? Are you going to add this to your list of things to potentially try? Um, and yeah, just talk to me. Let me know. Also, any other black owned businesses that you may have tried because you've seen my content. Let me know if you've tried those and what are your thoughts. Um, yeah, just talk to me. Let me know what you think. I love you all so, so, so much. I'll see you in my next one. Can't kiss my lips because there's something on it, but. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>